You could theoretically have it going to have the sample and hold controlling it. That would be awesome. So then the sample and hold would control oscillator 2. So yes, you can modulate oscillator 2. You can modulate oscillator 2 um, without modulating oscillator 1. And you can control the amount again with using our VCA. Like, for example, you could, let's say, have um, an envelope going out into the VCA, out to VCO2, and amount controlled by the mod wheel. So let's see how that sounds. problem with that, as you can probably hear, is the envelope controls the pitch, but the keyboard does not control the pitch, so you get a drone. You have VCO1 and 2 CV in, which primarily is a way you can control this synthesizer if you have a hertz to volt synthesizer output, because this is not volt per octave, this is hertz per volt. So that's the sad thing about the MS-20 is that your Moogs or ARPs, etc. can't control it because it is Hertz per volt. But if you have another Hertz per volt synthesizer, um, as I currently actually do, I should hook it up, um, you can control the synthesizer via another synthesizer. And you could also have trigger from that synthesizer going into the trigger input. You can also have the trigger output so that you can use the key triggers to control functions that can be triggered, which are already hardwired, um, like the envelopes are hardwired to be triggered by the keyboard. So, But if you need a trigger out, you've got one available. Um, you can also create your own trigger by using the momentary switch, and that's extremely exciting. Um, also, you have a keyboard CV out, which you can use as a modulation source. Um, for example, let's just say in the low-pass filter. Um, very familiar standard setup where the voltage from the keyboard defines the filter cutoff point for the various keys so you have like dark down below and bright up high so we have touched a bit on every single output of the patch section and every single input of the patch section of course you can go much more in depth with all of these um, there are many, many functions you can pursue. And next we'll talk about the external signal processor. I have a microphone. The microphone cable is going into the signal in. I have adjusted the signal level to a reasonable signal level. I have adjusted the low frequency, the low cut frequency and the high cut frequency so that they apparently are receiving voice. I have the CV adjust so that the frequency tracks the frequency of my voice is tracked by the frequency of the synthesizer and the threshold level seems to be set. With this thing, it's about the best you can do. So this is what we uh, end up with. Okay, you ready? La Already we've got kind of a problem, but that's how it is with this thing. Let's try it again. La 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 So, you can tell that sometimes it's tracking, sometimes it's not tracking. When it's not tracking, it sounds like it's hitting the fifth, which is pretty cool, not too unreasonable. But these things never have been this trustworthy, never have been particularly trustworthy. I know before I have gotten one to track pitch better than I currently am, but I mean, it's such a fine-tuned process of fiddling to get just the right thing. And of course, you know, my voice is like, with something more precise, like a keyboard or a guitar, it's going to track better than my voice, which is obviously all over the place. So, 
that, but right now I am controlling the entire synthesizer. My voice is providing the trigger, my voice is providing the pitch. So right now I am the CV controller of this synthesizer, which is really cool. I mean, how many synthesizers can you do that with? So, there you go. Also, there are other ways you can do this. I have the envelope output from the external signal processor going into the total input so that it is acting as a modulation source to the, um, frequency, the cutoff frequency of both filters. So, basically, without giving the modulation, you can hear a unfiltered, well, it's actually filtered, but you can hear the, that the filter is not being modulated, but then when I apply my voice, I can change the um, filter cutoff point with the amplitude of my voice. to control that. Um, having a drum beat control the filter cutoff point is a pretty cool thing. Um, it's a really neat effect and there are just so many applications of it that you can come up with. Um, and while you're doing that, while the envelope generated by the amplitude in your voice is controlling filter cutoff point, the CV out could be controlling some other aspect. Um, you could come up with any number of ways that whatever signal you're putting in can control the synthesizer, how it operates, and what the timbre does. Um, it's up to your complete exploration. So, other than that, we've got the awesome volume control on-off switch, and that is it. There's also a phone jack, if you need to use headphones, which is nice. And that is the MS-20.